morning folks. Um, it's Saturday, May 7th, my niece's birthday. Uh, I lost half my income uh, and I want to get her something for her birthday. Hopefully I can. Um, uh, I did get cleared for the background check with Rody. Um, once again, DoorDash deactivated me. Um, not sure why. Uh, either it's uh, me pushing back, uh, the use of the app Para, um, or my accidents from last year. Um, if I'm passing the background check with with uh, Uber Eats and with um, Bodie, I don't see how it was my accident last year. But you know, uh, it, it could be a number of reasons. Um, it's not my ratings. My ratings are just fine. So, um, my ratings are good as far as customer service goes. My ratings are good um, with acceptance, completion. Um, so, my ratings are just fine. So, it's not my ratings. Um, it's got to be something else. Anyway, um, that's either ne neither here nor there. Um, inside, I'm having another meltdown, but it's okay. You know, I've been here before. And... Uh, Gonna watch Gig TV most of the day today because uh, the uh, Uber app does not interrupt Gig TV. DoorDash app does, and I don't have the DoorDash app at the moment. So um, just gonna watch Gig TV all day and try and make some money. Um, I'm gonna put in probably about 12 hours. Um, every penny helps right now with the loss of income. Starbucks, 689, two and a half miles. Rolling, 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 rolling on a river. Okay. One of my favorite parts of driving to work, this little section right here. This is like a um, like big marshland thing, um, nature site. Absolutely beautiful. I love it. I guess that's a big hole in the middle of Newport Beach. All right. Uh, Uber just gave me a five nineteen, and I paid five thirty nine for gas this morning. Um, gas prices are back up. They jumped twenty cents overnight um, per gallon. So uh, right now we're going a gallon of gas again. I'm thinking about um, DoorDash had sent me this. Uh, a survey asking if I saw myself dashing in a year from now and I think I put that I didn't know it depended on I guess my relationship with them I don't know um, and here I am I'm not dashing you know um, and it's been six years and um, do I see myself dashing in a year from now and the answer is I don't know you know um, they they seem to not want me on the platform um, so uh, why would they give me this survey if uh, they didn't want me here to okay so I really don't want to talk about how horribly bad I'm doing today um, long waits at restaurants um, long waits at uh, donut stores um, way less than twenty dollars an hour um you know thankfully california we've got ab5 um or prop 22 uh so there'll be a supplement somewhere in there um somewhere um so far i uh i have about 65 but i think i think it's probably more like 75 80 with the order that i just dropped off um believe it or not i'm still doing okay i have uh, 65 on my gas tank um i don't think it's going to be 30 dollars in gas so that's not half of it um, 
going to be more like 10, which is still bad. Um, I'm on a shop and pay right now, uh, only two and a half miles from the, the store, and it paid out uh, 1267 so that's a good thing. Um, I still got a few hours to go, uh, so we'll see how we do today, but it is not a good day. Um, again, no emails, um, nothing, which I don't expect to hear anything for at least another week, maybe two weeks, um, from anyone. So, um, we'll see how a friend of mine that I got deactivated, um, and she's doing DoorDash right now, and, uh, she said, is there anything that I should know, that I should be aware of, that I should be afraid of? And I said, just don't complain. You know, don't, uh, don't push back if, you know, if they want to abuse you, just allow it. You know, um, if they want to steal your money, let them steal your money. If they want to, um pay you less, let them pay you less. Um, it's sad. <laughs> it's really sad. But if they want to put you in the hospital, let them put you in the hospital. If they don't want to pay workers' comp for it, don't, don't push them to pay workers' comp, you know? Um, just let them abuse you. Um, you'll make good money. Uh, you know, and, and, um, you will. You'll make good money. Just let them abuse you. So, um, you know, if your car blows up, beg your family for another car. <laughs> if, um, and then take their three, four, five dollar orders and uh, beg your family to let you stay in their basement because um, you'll make good money I know I sound horrible right now don't I but um, that's what it is Okay, so far I'm at uh, 16.47 for the week. Um, 3.77 of that it was the 85 for two weeks. Um, so I have done a um, little over 13, a little less. Um, I don't know. Um, but then, you know, I'm getting the AB5 from that stuff too, so I, I, it doesn't matter. It's, you know, um, it's 2 o'clock. I am um, logged off of Uber right now, um, heading back to my area. I'll give it about 20 to 25 minutes and then I'm going to log back on um, so that... Uh, I can work a little bit later tonight. Maybe I'll go buy smokes. Um, go use the restroom, get something to eat. Yeah. Um, I don't even have an appetite. No appetite. Okay. Uh, I am done with my day. It is uh, 9.27. Um, Saturday. Uh, I'm over 300. I'm not sure how much over 300 I am, but I'm over 300. Um, I take about an hour and a half break uh, in between um, so that I could work later and get uh, more at dinner instead of the low orders. Um, drove 183 miles so far, but I'm still going home. So it's going to be close to 200 like it usually is. Um, did a lot of deliveries. Not sure how many yet. Um, 
had a little bit of a meltdown earlier, um, but I brought myself right back. Um, I did notice that on Rody I would have had a lot of work today, but they're not done with the clearance yet. Um, so, uh, it looks like once I'm on Rody, everything's going to be good. Everything will, everything will be just fine. Um, but until then, uh, it's going to get rough. It's going to get really rough. So, um, we'll see what happens, you know. Um, I uh, had a couple of friends tell me to, you know, uh, uh, give a different address and stuff to uh, DoorDash. And I, I'm just like, no, I'm not going to do that. You know, I... Um, the whole reason why I pushed that back most of the time was because of them lying. I'm not going to turn around and lie. You know, so, um, we'll, we'll see. You know, we'll see what happens. Anyway, I'm going to call my husband. Um, I'm watching, uh, Gig Lebowski right now with his amazing day. Um, I watched, uh, Pedro a few minutes ago. Um, Pedro, if you ever listen to any of these, um, it's easier than it sounds. Um, you know, I, I started gig work to get out of an abusive relationship, um, and I uh, moved in with a lady who was very sick, and I was only paying 300 a month, and I started, you know, saving up to get my own place. got engaged, he got hurt, my dog went blind, I got hurt, um, I'd been hit by an uninsured motorist where I had to take care of everything, um, it's easier than it sounds, you know, and I've been doing this for six years and right now, you know, I work because my husband can't, you know, and my dogs can't. <laughs> And I'm not going to live off the government. And it's very uh, high cap cost to live in California. You know, and this is the only job I know where I can consistently, without clocking in and clocking out everywhere, where I can make this type of money. And um, unfortunately, you know, I was deactivated by DoorDash. Um, Fortunately or unfortunately, I don't know, but I'm going to get connected with more apps and, um, you know, try and make these goals, but, uh, you know, when, when, uh, one thing happens after another with a lot of things, it's a lot easier than it sounds, especially when you were born with chronic pain. You know, it is a lot easier than it sounds. So, Pedro, if you're listening, I don't know if you're listening or not. I'm trying to set those goals. I'm trying to find something that I can do besides this all the time. Um, I really am. You know, I am searching and searching and searching and trying to find something that I can do besides this. But one thing after another, things are happening. You know, uh, January, I was in two car accidents because of cluster, cluster migraines. And then I had three teeth dissolve, you know, in my upper mouth where I had to get root canals and now I've got to get bridge. And, and then, you know, I, uh, and, it, and it just keeps going, you know, but I'm doing my absolute best. I am doing the best I can do. And when I get up in the morning, the sun is coming up. And when I get home at night, you know, it's 12, 13, 14, 15 hours later. But I'm doing my best. Okay? Um, thank you so much to everybody who has subscribed to this channel. I know it's not many of you, but I appreciate all of you. 
Lexi, oh my God, thank you for giving me so much support today. Michael, yes, I said hello. I didn't watch your video yet, but I said hello because I knew that you would say hello back. And um, I'm really overwhelmed right now. Okay. Um, very, very overwhelmed right now. But um, thank you. Okay. I I don't remember Michael if it was you or if it was um, one of my friends on Twitter, but. For Rody, thank you. Because I have a feeling it's going to be a really good thing because they are very, very transparent. Um, I'm going to go see my husband. Um, oh, Van. Oh, my God. Van, if you are watching this. Van. Oh, you have been helping me go to sleep. Thank you. Oh God, I'm losing it again. I'm so sorry. Um, man, thank you. Thank you for helping me go to sleep just just by being live, doing doing what you do. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, 